If you enjoy my video, like, comment, and consider subscribing. Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Bits and Knits. I hope this video finds you safe and healthy. In today's video, we're going to make this really adorable mug rug. So just a little coaster, decorative for your coffee table. The yarn that I'm using is the Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek in this baby blue color. I'm using a 5mm hook and a pair of scissors and a tape measure. Okay, so this is really quick, easy project, perfect for last minute gifts and things like that. So to get started, we're just gonna make a slip knot. And we'll start by chaining 17. Right, so we've got 17 chains and what I'm going to do is flip this chain. Right, so here's the front of the chain. I'm just going to flip it around and you see these little back bumps. I'm going to make our foundation into those back bumps. So what's that, what that's going to do is make the edge of the finished project look just a little bit cleaner. You don't necessarily have to do this. You can just make a regular foundation row but I just like to do it this way so I'm going again into this back bump here and just making a single crochet and we're just going to do single crochets all the way until the end of the row Right, so we're at our last single crochet. So now we should be left with 16 stitches. So I'll just count them quickly. Okay, 16 stitches, and we're going to just chain one and turn. Okay, so this is where the pattern's gonna start, and it's the same pattern over and over for each row. So the first stitch, I'm gonna go in and just make a single crochet. For the next two stitches, I'm gonna go only into these back loops, these two here. So into the back loop only, and do a single crochet. And again, into the back loop only, and make a single crochet. In the next stitch, I'll just make a regular single crochet going into both loops as normal. And again, for the next two stitches, I'm gonna go into the back loops only. One and two. Next stitch, just a normal single crochet the next two stitches into the back loop only. Next stitch, normal single crochet. Next two stitches, back loop only. Regular single crochet into the next stitch. Next two into the back loops only. And then the last stitch will be a regular single crochet. So you're always going to start and finish with a regular normal single crochet. So you can see it a little bit. It's just going to give you a bit of texture. So I'll show you this one I've completed already. So you can see just like that little bit of texture looks really nice. And we'll just chain one and turn our work. And again, we're just gonna repeat that same thing. First stitch is a single crochet. Next two stitches, back loop only. 
next stitch single crochet next two stitches back loop only next stitch single crochet two stitches next into the back loop only regular single crochet two next two stitches into the back loop only regular single crochet two stitches into the back loop only and then last stitch single crochet to continue again just chaining one and turn at the end of each row so we did our foundation row plus two so we're on row four now and we're going to keep going until we have a total of 13 rows okay so we'll have 10 more rows from here and go ahead and start with the pattern again it's the same thing one single crochet two in the back loop only single crochets pause the video and I'll meet you when we have a total of 13 rows. All right, so I finished my 13 rows and it should just look like a nice square. And you can see that nice texture in the pattern. So we're just gonna fasten off here So now we're just going to add this fringe on the ends. So we're going to use that same yarn, or you can use a different colored yarn if that's what you're doing. And we're basically going to cut them about four inches, roughly four inches. So what we're going to do is cut three and that's going to be one tassel, right? So there's three strands in each tassel and there's five tassels on each end. Okay? So we're going to need 10 groups of three tassels. So I like to cut mine all first and then put them on. You can do it however you want, but I'm going to go ahead and just grab this tassel and start in this corner here. And I'm gonna get all three strands together and just pull it through. So here's a loop and grab the ends and just pull them through here. And you wanna make this tight, but kind of carefully, this way you don't stretch the finished product out too much. So just kind of lightly make that tight. I like to pull one strand at a time and just tighten each one. There we go. So we have one tassel. So go ahead and cut your 10 groups of three, each about four inches long, and just connecting them in this way that I showed you. And go ahead and pause your video. I'm gonna do mine and I'll meet you when we get there. So I just wanted to cut in again real quick. I just did the first side. So, as you can see, I just kind of like evenly spaced them out as best I could. And the end here really could just be put right along with it or you can weave that in. So here we go. And I'll go ahead and move to the other side and I'll meet you when we get there. All right, so for the last one, I just wanted to pop back on and demonstrate again. So I have my 
cluster of three strands here. And I'm gonna go in this corner and just hook those and drag them right on through. Just, oops. Don't mind my son banging around. He, Pull it up here for a loop and then just grab the ends here and bring them through. Okay, so I like to kind of hold the base of it here as I tug them so that I don't stretch out and just pull each one. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> this was my end here, and I just kind of lumped that in with these, so I'm just going to cut that to match. And I have on this side just one that's a little bit longer, so you can like kind of just trim them up a little bit how you want them if one's too long, etc. And you straighten them out a bit. Trim here. Okay, so here we have our mug rug, and I have my set of two right now, and I'm going to make a set of three, and then give them as a gift with a mug, so it's a cute little idea as a gift. Alright everyone, thanks so much for watching, see you next time.